We continue our reading of From the Heart, a daily devotional by author Ellen G. White. Today's reading, May 3, The Blessings of Benevolence. The generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters will also be watered himself. Proverbs 11.25 Divine wisdom has appointed in the plan of salvation the law of action and reaction, making the work of beneficence in all its branches twice blessed. Those who give to the needy bless others, and are blessed themselves in a still greater degree that we might not lose the blessed results of benevolence, our Redeemer formed the plan of enlisting us as his co-workers by a chain of circumstances which would call forth our charities. He bestows upon us the best means of cultivating benevolence and keeps us habitually giving to help the poor and to advance his cause. By their necessities, a ruined world are drawing forth from us talents of means and influence to present to them the truth of which they are in perishing need. In bestowing, we bless others and thus accumulate true riches. The cross of Christ appeals to the benevolence of every follower of the blessed Savior. The principle there illustrated is to give, give. This carried out in actual benevolence and good works is the true fruit of the Christian life. The principle of worldlings is to get, get, and thus they expect to secure happiness. But carried out in all its bearings, the fruit is misery and death. Christ assigned to human beings the work of spreading the gospel. But while some go forth to preach, he calls upon others to answer his claims upon them for offerings with which to support his cause in the earth. This is one of God's ways of exalting us. It is just the work that we need, for it will stir the deepest sympathies of our heart and call into exercise the highest capabilities of the mind. God planned the system of beneficence in order that we might become, like our Creator, benevolent and unselfish in character. Christ's believing people are to perpetuate His love. Meet around the cross of Calvary in self-sacrifice and self-denial. As you stand before the cross and see the royal Prince of Heaven dying for you, can you seal your heart saying, No, I have nothing to give. God will bless you as you do your best. Review and Herald, October 3, 1907. This concludes our reading today of from the heart and now a temple in time God took six days and created earth and moon stars and sun on the seventh day he rested from the work that he had done then he blessed it made it holy as a gift for every man to remind us where we came from and just how this world began
Desecrated and profaned, but the sacred fourth commandment is still valid and unchanged. Hear the Father gently calling, if you love me, heed each one, not for merit or salvation, but because you love. Son. 